All right, guys, let's do another unboxing of the Buck Auto. And uh, we'll just cut right into this. I'm cutting the back side of the box here because um, I didn't feel like peeling off the labels on the other side. So, And again, I'm not 100% sure what this is, so let's find out together. Looks like a Damasco. Oh, I know what this one is. There's the love note. Rob, here's the awesome DK10 fully in-house movement free sprung balance with silicon hairspring and escapement wheel. And this one is going to be uh, on the chopping block from the owner. And his other information is down below, so I'm not going to share that. But let's check this out. I know myself and a lot of other friends are all kind of on a Damasco kick right now. And this is kind of like the premiere when you get into this brand for sure. Um, wow, look at that huge display case back on this. This thing is spectacular. That is an absolute beautiful movement, guys. I can't wait to do a video on this thing. Man, and then the crystal. They do such a good job on the crystal. Has the uh, bi-directional ball bearing action on the bezel. Just super legible. Let's unscrew this and see if we can wake this thing up. You can hear that nice wind on that. I'm going to have to do some research on this one. I don't know a ton about their movement, to be honest with you guys. Uh, these DK10s, I think there's a DK10 and a DK11, which I think the 11 is the loom dial, which I would really be interested in seeing that one. Um, I think are both kind of sold out at most places. I love the pop of red on this too. So you have the SI down there for us uh, old school Honda guys. We know SI is kind of like um, a Honda thing, uh, but they have that red there. But that's actually standing for silicone, uh, silicon for the um, parts used in the movement. And then you have the red seconds hand, and then you have that red up there and that pip. So. Oh, if you guys have not handled a Damasco and threaded in one of their crown systems, nothing else feels like it. Typically, you know how when you're threading in a crown, you can actually like feel it kind of threading in. This one, as soon as it catches the threads, it's like it just takes off on you. It just goes right in. Like it's pretty wild. It's very, very cool. So let me pop this on wrist real quick so you can get a wrist shot because it might be a few days before I can get a video on this, guys. And I know some people are usually get chomping at the bit and they want that um, review videos like quick you know and I, I can't always get to them all that quickly so it's a little tight on my wrist but there it is and damn, just a beautiful watch beautiful watch it's a little bit on the thicker side but that's probably because of that in-house movement and everything so full video soon guys thanks for watching